Today, we will see some examples based on how to construct a triangle when the measurement of two angles and the length of the side included between them are known. With the help of a compass and ruler, construct a triangle PQR congruent to the given triangle CBA based on the ASA congruence criteria. First, we draw a rough diagram of triangle CBA and triangle PQR which are congruent to each other. From the given figures, we can observe the following correspondence. Here, C corresponds to P, B corresponds to Q, A corresponds to R, CB corresponds to PQ, BA corresponds to QR and CA corresponds to PR. As we know, if two angles in the included side of a triangle are equal to two corresponding angles and the included side of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent under the ASA congruence criteria. Here, we will draw angle A is equal to angle R, angle B is equal to angle Q and side BA is equal to side QR which will give us triangle PQR congruent to triangle CBA. Here, we are given triangle CBA. Using a compass and ruler, we will construct triangle PQR based on ASA congruence criteria. First, we will draw side BA equal to side QR under the given correspondence BA corresponds to QR. Step 1. First, we draw a ray QL. Step 2. Place the pointed tip of the compass at the vertex B of triangle CBA and adjust the opening so that the tip of the pencil is at vertex A. Set your compass to the length of side AB. Step 3. With the same opening as in step 2 and with the Q as the center, draw an arc to cut the ray QL at a point. This point of intersection is the vertex R of triangle PQR. According to the question, we have to construct the triangle based on ASA congruence criteria. Therefore, with the help of B corresponds to Q and A corresponds to R, we will construct angle Q with an equal measure of angle B and angle R with an equal measure of angle A. Step 4. With B as the center, construct an arc intersecting the line BA and BC at points D and E. Without changing the compass setting, with Q as center, draw an arc which cuts the line QR at a point S. Set the compass to the length of arc DE. Using the same radius and with S as center, draw another arc which cuts the previous arc at point T. Next, we will join Q and T to form ray QT. Can you tell me how we will construct angle R? Pause the video and think about it. Let's understand this. In step 5, to construct angle R with A as center, we will draw an arc intersecting the line AB and AC at points F and G. Using the same radius and with R as center, draw an arc which cuts line QR at point U. Set the compass to the length of arc FG. Without changing the compass setting, with U as center, draw another arc which cuts the previous arc at point V. Next, we join points R and V to form a ray RV. Step 6. We observe that the two rays, ray QT and ray RV, intersect at a point. This point of intersection of the two rays 
is vertex P. Thus, we have triangle PQR which is congruent to triangle CBA under the ASA congruence criteria. Today we saw examples based on how to construct a triangle when the measurement of two angles and the length of the side included between them are known. Thank you.